Welcome to the Sportsman's Journal with Butch Fortman. Hello and welcome to the show today. We've got a good one for you. We're going to head up to Ontario, Canada, actually straight north of International Falls, Minnesota, Fort Francis, Ontario. You go straight up on the 502 road, hit Vermilion Bay, and then the Red Lake Road, the 105, to Cliff Lake. What a beautiful lake. You've seen this uh, lake on my other shows. It's my favorite multi-species lake. It's got everything you could ask for. It's got walleye, it's got smallmouth bass, it's got northern pike, and it's got tremendous musky fishing. Top that off with some great walleyes, and man, you got everything. Okay, we got a good show, lots of action to show you. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. Looking for a great affordable fishing vacation? Then contact Lost Bay Resort on beautiful secluded Cliff Lake. This drive to fishing destination is my favorite multi-species lake with terrific angling for musky trout, trophy walleye, northern and smallmouth bass. Fishing pressure is light and wind is no factor. Also check out Wild Eyes Outpost Camp for reduced group rates. Call toll free or go online CanadaHuntingFishing.com Jigging for lake trout. Yeah, we're back up here on our annual trip to a cliff lake. And we got here kind of midday, so we thought we'd start with the lake trout. And uh, it's paid off. And we'll go for, for walleyes later and musky. But boy, I'll tell you, this vertical jigging for these trout are, are fun. Plus there's a lot of nice big white fish in here too. Mm -hmm. I've got that uh, Northland Slurpee on, they use it for bass. But <laughs> well, it didn't take long and you had one, that's oh, for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of fish down there too on the graph. We're fishing, uh, there's a hump that comes out of 100 feet of water up to about 60 feet. And we're fishing that hump. And usually it holds a lot of fish. Oh yeah, nice. Oh yeah. Nice trout. Cliff Lake Trout. Woo! Nice. All right, buddy. Oh! <laughs> I guess so. Set that drag. <laughs> well, you can't oh. find two happier guys than Jig and Lake Trout than, than you you and I, boy. Well, that's oh, what, I love it. You know, people coming up to Cliff Lake here, you know, all they need is their, is their walleye rod or their bass rod and uh, use some of that high-tech line, you know, non-stretch. The 832 Rapala Normark is uh, really great stuff. Okay, this baby here, I'll probably have to use a net on it, which I can grab over with one hand here. And we'll see what we can do. A little cut bait. Yeah, yeah I'm using some uh, some cut bait on here. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, there They're we go. Special fish, those lake trout. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, really. You know, look at that. Just a gorgeous fish. 
and they're they're like uh, I call them salmon trout. They got red meat, just like a salmon, and boy are they good eating. Uh, and nice thing now is they protect the lake trout. Uh, they only allow two lake trout. So, uh, you know, back in the old days they they harvested too many of them, and uh, here they can still have good fishing and and you know not uh, worry about their population of the trout going down. All right. Good start for Way the trip. To go. Way to go, boss. Well, you've spotted quite a few on the graph there, so. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, you know, you see, I'm sure some are whitefish too, but mm -hmm. the majority of them are lake trout. Okay. Remember that time a couple of years ago we were fishing here and uh, I thought it was a lake trout and uh, all of a sudden the thing jumped away. It was a big musky. Oh, that's right. Ooh, there that's we huge. go. Oh, nice. Look at him spit oh, out the done. ciscos. Spitting out the ciscos. There, there, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Sure. Look at the size of that cisco. We're going to have to go back and get that. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. No wonder they're kind of finicky. Oh, nice eater, too. Oh, nice eater. Oh, beautiful fish. Did you see it all? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, beautiful fish. Yeah, nice. Nice. Oh, yes. There's where we got him on that slurpy white, glow in the dark Looks white. Looks like he took it pretty good. Yeah, he took it good. Yeah, he did. Okay. Folks, this is just uh, the bait that that lake trout, the last one I caught, spit up. And I went back and picked it up. It's fresh. You can just see it just swallowed it. And, you know, actually it looks like a small white fish. Uh, I, I thought it might be a cisco, but uh, it looks more like a white fish. But boy, I'll, that, that's what they're looking for. And of course, there's a lot of these. This is the hot spot. <laughs> that has got one here. Atta boy, man. Ooh, it's a Ooh, nice it's trout. A nice one. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, nice trout. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Well, that didn't take you long. <laughs> huh? Atta boy. Look at that. There's a nice trout. <laughs> got him on the sonar, too. A chartreuse one. Good job. Oh, hold still here, buddy. Nice trout. Boy, they're strong. Well, buddy, Woo. your dad said you were a good fisherman, and I guess he wasn't lying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, man. Well, let's get some more, huh? All right. Oh, Dale, I just put the, the white sonar on. I had the, uh, the Slurpee tube, and that's been working, but I thought I'd just try a sonar and see what happens. And, it's all trout are down there and they're they're suspended, so that's a good thing. Must be active today. Yeah, they're a little more active when they're up up higher. Mm -hmm. We drifted off that reef a little bit though. We were up in yeah, eighty feet or so. Yeah, about eighty feet of water, and uh -huh. this one was about ten feet off bottom. Okay. Ooh, yes. There, there might be a whitefish <laughs> too. We don't know. Oh, oh there that'd it is. be okay. Yeah, we could use that for cut bait and, ooh, it's a nice one. Nice trout. Oh, pretty. That's for sure. Oh, nice, right? Ooh, I got him hooked on the jaw right there, just barely. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. oh, there he goes again. Well. Ah, oh, boy. You wanna just grab him or what are you thinking? Yeah. Well, I think I'll maybe, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there he goes. I'll see if I can get this net. Okay. Oh yeah. He's staying down there pretty good. How come it's always the net's always in the worst spot <laughs> well, when, you, when you get a fish on, you know? That's fishing. Yeah. yeah. Well. That's it. That's it too. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's get him back up again. Well, we're not far from wild eyes, are we, Butch? Yeah, there's you know? wild eyes right there. The outpost camp. Lance's outpost camp. He's getting that fixed up pretty nice. He's putting a new log oh, home on there. Oh, his needle? 
Bet he is. He's getting the main camp done first, though. Lost Bay, boy, is that beautiful now. Oh, yeah. oh man. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you can't slow him down, huh? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa. He got so much energy. Oh, boy, is he pretty. I got him that time. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a treat. How pretty that is, huh? Definitely. Kind of a golden color. Like you said, look at the belly on it. Looks yeah. Full. He's been eating good. Native lake trout. Native. Got the orange fins. Well, that's going to be a red meated <laughs> salmon trout. Okay. Oh, man, Dale. <laughs> what, you got? <laughs> what do you got now? <laughs> oh. Huh? Is he still on there? Yeah, he's still there. He took off. He was taking well, all your line a minute ago. Look, look at that. It might be a muskie. He's coming up. Usually that's not a trout. Uh-huh. Well, you mean the muskies are down uh, 80 feet too? Yeah, sometimes they are feeding on the ciscos. Okay. And a small lake trout. <laughs> sure. Okay. Ooh. Uh, oh. I don't think he's going to give up too easy yet though. But oh, man. He's going to make one more run. Oh, he's a nice one. Well, I'll try to get him to the net here. Way to go, Matthew. Lift him up toward the net here, toward the, toward the can. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Good job. <laughs> huh? Woo. That's a beauty. Wow. That is a nice. That's, that is a nice fish. I know it. Oh man, huh? This is what it's all about. Well, there's a cliff lake, lake trout. I'll tell you what, they, they should grow big in here too. Uh, they've got uh, so much bait fish, you know, as far as uh, ciscos or lake herring, a lot of people call them, but you can see these fish are well fed. Beautiful, beautiful trout. And they're all natives. got here Dale. Another fish going. How does he how does he see him? Yeah he's right on the edge of the weeds again. Okay. In about 10 feet of water. Mm -hmm. Here it is August. Or <laughs> well, fish, fish are right in the weeds. That's what makes it so funny you know. You think they'd be out in the deeper drop-offs. Yeah. But that's okay. Right. All right. Well, this lake is different. It's a weird lake, on, especially on the walleyes, but, oh, it's... What you got going there? What do we got here? Oh, it's our first walleye. That's okay. okay. Just yeah. where we wanted them. Uh-huh. Got a little weeds there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? Yeah. Fighting like a smallmouth, but I'm sure I saw the white tip on the tail. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a perfect fish. Is it good? All right. That's exciting. You yeah, know, we've been working at it, so. Okay. I think I can just grab this guy. Oh, it's a nice, aren't they a nice color in here? Definitely. Good. Oh, nice, huh? There's a Cliff Lake walleye. Beautiful. Nice color. Like you said, it, is, it yeah. has nice color. Mm -hmm. Well, Dale, that slip bobber you suggested works. You know, we're in these weeds here, so nothing better than a slip bobber to try to get through. Oh, it's a walleye. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps your bait up out of the weeds a little anyway, you know. Well, yeah, it's it's a good method. You know, I've, for years I've been fishing slip bobbers, you know, and certain areas where there's a real, real rocky bottom, you can't get your line through. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, yes. And, of course, this. There we go. 
Oh, yes. Right. Perfect fish. Isn't that nice? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Lance sure has a lot to offer his customers, though. I mean, unbelievable musky lake. You know, it's probably the best musky lake I've ever fished. But, I mean, when you get bonus walleyes and lake trout <laughs> in the same lake, you just can't beat it. Beautiful. Nice. Right by the edge of the boat, Butch. Looks like a walleye, hopefully, is taking it oh, away. Oh, yeah, there, go, there it goes. Down it goes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Another Good nice walleye. You just, you just caught a couple nice ones, and this one ain't bad either. No, it isn't. All right. Nice fish. Good color. You bet. That's what we're looking for. Yep. Yes. Well, that's a throwback there. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Nice one. Yes. I'll take them. That's for <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Yeah, thanks. Yep. Weed walleyes. It, it's a good morning. Yep. Getting some pretty decent walleyes. Way to go, Neith. Who says there's no walleyes in Cliff Lake? <laughs> Ooh. Just keep that rod tip up a little higher. That a boy. A little more. Oh, nice. Old in color, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Dinner tonight. Whoa, Butch. Got something here. All right, buddy. The bobber went down, like no. you were saying earlier. Weed walleyes. We're having fun now. We sure are. Weed walleyes. It has so much bait fish in it, and of course they, they hide in the weeds with all these muskies running around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, uh, you know, you can't blame the walleyes for going in the weeds too. That's for sure. Yeah, a lot of the fish we get are scarred up from muskies, mm -hmm. you know. Remember that show two years ago we had uh, that one grab, uh, musky grabbed a two and a half pound walleye. You sure did. We split them wide open. Yeah. Oh boy, sure is that did. pretty. All right, boy, I'll tell you, we're having fun now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you know, the thing about it, Dale, you know, uh, here we are, the first week of August. The walleyes are, are only in uh, five feet of water, five, six feet. And, uh, oh, it's another nice one. So, you know, you got to keep an open mind on, on this. And, and this lake in particular is a little different than most walleye lakes. You know, when you're fishing, uh, like, Rainy Lake up in the rock piles and stuff like that, it's a different ball game. Here they relate a lot more for the weed line. Oh, that's a dandy. Good fish, Butch. Huh? Good fish. Gee, what a beauty. That sure is. Yeah. And both leeches and crawlers are working, but, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy, I'll tell you. You talk about relating to the weeds. Yeah. I mean, these fish are right in them. Yeah, the bait fish are in there pretty thick, you know. Okay. Yeah, we get a perch once in a while, don't we? Yeah, a lot of so. perch. Okay. Thanks for the fight. All right. Way to go, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your let's turn. get another one. <laughs> oh, huge. Oh, what huge. a dandy. Oh, that is a big one. What a chunk. Oh, beautiful. What a chunk. You should see this. <laughs> what a chunk. Oh, absolutely. Oh. This is a chunk. Whoa! Oh my God. What a smallmouth. What a, oh. On a minnow. On a minnow? Yeah, put a minnow on. I know you guys are using leeches, but. Look at the size of that bass. Isn't that something? Oh. 
That's Whoa. a nice bass. Way to go, Dale. So what do we have? We have big trout. And look at a big walleye. Musky hit him. <laughs> look at the smallmouth. Looking oh. for a great affordable fishing vacation? Then contact Lost Bay Resort on beautiful secluded Cliff Lake. This drive-to fishing destination is my favorite multi-species lake with terrific angling for musky trout, trophy walleye, northern and smallmouth bass. Fishing pressure is light and wind is no factor. Also check out Wild Eyes Outpost Camp for reduced group rates. Call toll free or go online canadahuntingfishing.com. Well I hope you enjoyed today's show. We sure had a lot of fun up on Cliff Lake like usual. And like I said, uh, the fishing, well, I'll tell you what, uh, unbelievable as far as the variety goes. And uh, you never know what you're going to catch. One cast, it might be a muskie. Next time, it might be a smallmouth or a walleye or a lake trout or a northern pike. Also, I'd like to give special thanks uh, to my fishing partner in the boat today, Dale Kilby from Duluth. Uh, we always have a great time when we get out fishing. And also to Lance Hampel, uh, he brought his grandsons up. Nathan and Matthew, and uh, they're, they're fishermen from the start. I'll tell you what, they really enjoyed themselves. And also, uh, we'll give you a phone numbers here so you can give Lost Bay a call and go on their website, check it out. And also, they have Wild Ice Outpost Camp. Uh, this is a budget type of price, and you can get groups to go over there, and it's a great deal. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. For a great vacation, contact Lost Bay Resort, toll free at 1-888-884-8870 or go online, canadahuntingfishing.com.